So guys, I want to talk to you today about one of the most versatile forage I believe that we have in the region, the king grass. It comes from the penicetum species, so it's related to the neighbor grass and the elephant grass. And farmers find it pretty difficult to identify the different varieties. Why I think it's number one is because of the biomass yield. You can get around 10 metric ton of grass. I'm 6'2", and this grass is about 12 feet high over my head. Look how small it starts, and then you see how tall it is. Farmers call it cane grass because it resembles um, sugar cane. And on a nutrient profile basis, I've seen this forage at 18% crude, putting as low as 10%. But how do we plant this grass? A lot of farmers call me and ask me. It's like cane, so we have shoots coming from the nodes. So what I like to do is looking for old king grass that already has the nodes, and you're seeing it shooting from there, so it's already active in its growing stage. Something that I also kind of look for is some tiny little hair that you might see growing from the nodes. So this will allow it to germinate or, you know, able to catch a little bit easier. How do I harvest it? So for one, a uh, single row harvester is very important. Farmers cut it, but I recommend that you use a shafting machine because if you don't, you'll end up having a lot of wastage in your feeding troughs. So guys, an excellent crop for the tropical region. I believe we should capitalize on it and expand.